Good evening, everyone. I'm Tim Weiner, and this is Social Media News. I don't know if I'm going to do that theme song ever again. I just made it up. Um, so last week on social media news, we touched on uh, things I'd like to see more of on social media. And I did talk about a little things I want to see less of. But we're going to talk about this week. We're going to talk about more things that I want to see less of on social media. And uh, you know, first things first is uh, less challenges. Now I have, like no beef with like what the challenges and stuff represent. I have no beef with kids dying from the Tide Pod challenge. I have like uh, none like remorse or whatever whatsoever. I have no beef with the uh, uh with the uh the water bucket challenge that we had a few years ago that was supposed to be spreading ALS awareness. And uh I mean but how effective are these challenges for the things that they claim to uh, uh, represent? Um, and because was the ice bucket challenge really spreading the awareness of ALS? And um, and then what happened? Like, I'm pretty sure ALS. And Lou Gehrig's disease, or however you refer to it, is still a thing. And it's not like all these people are dumping... Half the people don't even know what the challenges and shit are even for. They just see some viral trend on uh, uh, YouTube or other some sort of other social outlet. And they're like, oh, that seems like fun. I want to do it, Greg. Jump from what... Dump this cold ass fucking water on me so I can hate myself for about like five minutes. Oh my god. But yeah, so like, yeah, a lot of these people don't even know what they're getting into, what they're doing. And uh. And then sometimes, like, the uh, mainstream media news can. Uh, just ruined something like because the whole Tide Pod thing started a joke where people were just putting like you know they were doing a joke you'd waste a frozen pizza by throwing some Tide Pods on there and telling the kids that you ate it or whatever and so then when mainstream media gets a hold of this story Tide Pod incidents went up like do, 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 by the thousands like after the news coverage for it it went up by at first like the hundreds and then at, like like another week later it went up by like 1500 a day of people posting videos about it oh uh, <laughs> and if you want information to back up those claims i can give it to you I'm just not going to post it right now, but I can give you the information where I, I learned that from. Uh, next thing I want to see less of is just less uh, hate. I uh, like the internet. It was supposed to be a thing to just like bring people together, bring ideas together, bring, uh, just bring people from all over the world together. And I can talk, I can literally talk to people from all over the world, have them all in the same conversation, it's just by sitting in our living rooms, and we can all talk to each other, and it's a beautiful thing. But then when you got a, uh, someone post some. Does uh, or artwork or uh, 
and I'm actually guilty of this myself, is just the uh, not exchanging with like how I really felt about someone's art or whatever. Someone posts something and a lot of people just go on and hate it or whatever and, and trash it or you do something and uh, and it can be really discouraging, you know, and if you don't like the piece and you really want to, like, be able to help the person out that you feel for them, you know, be like, hey, I feel like you really got something going there, like, hey, you keep it up, yeah, and maybe you'll get even better, you know, like, do stuff like that, you know, like, you don't have to just straight out or flat out just say, like, oh, that your art's shit, and I've, I've done that before, too, so I'm... I'm guilty of that, and I probably really did think it too, but I'm like, yeah, your heart's shit, but that's not really the best way to go about, um, you know, you gotta bring some tact into what you're saying, even if you don't even care, you know, like, what if something you say to a person results in them, like, pushing their insecurities just overboard because you really don't know what's going on in someone else's head or what they've been through or, or like what their breaking point is so and yeah so that if you if you something you say ends up pushing someone over their breaking point and they end up hurting themselves or others because of that and that you're gonna i mean you might not know but you can always have that idea and some sort of doubt in your mind. Like, oh man, maybe I could have done something better or different or whatever. And, oh, excuse me, I just ate a bunch of asparagus. And, all right, Aries is back. Aries is going to be my co-host. I shouldn't even acknowledge your existence because you're just going to be... That's one thing. I want to see less food pictures and, like, pictures of your or pet sleep. Unless your pet's doing something, like, really hilarious or, like, really awesome. I don't really care to see it. And, uh, and your food, like, I don't give a fuck what you're eating. Like, half the time, you probably didn't even cook the shit. Um, that's me hating right there. But, uh. But we don't need it. We don't need it. Everyone's eating dinner tonight. Oh, well, maybe not everyone. But a lot of us are eating dinner tonight. You don't need to show off what dinner you're eating. Because a lot of us just don't really care. And, uh, and I, I'm not alone on this. I know damn well. I've seen memes about this where, like, stop Instagramming your fucking meal that you got, that you popped in the microwave. You they first took it out of the box and took it out of its uh uh uh, uh TV dinner whatever <laughs> packaging. You put it in the microwave on a plate and whatever. Boom boom boom. And then you just made it look like a real meal. Uh. Oh man. Uh, I had a whole plan for things I want to see less of, and I just woke up from a nap. And, uh, I forgot to even chronicalize the, the uh, episode. As you can see, it's Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to all you single folks out there. Um, if you're in a couple, you're most likely having a happy one a uh, lot. It's Valentine's Day 2018, 8, 23 in the evening. Um, oh, man, what else? Um, last gifts, or gifs, or however you say it. I say GIFs because it's graphic interface format. 
and so you use the hard G. Grr, 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 grr. And uh, mainly because I don't like to use the uh, Facebook app. I like to use the website. And for me to see a GIF, I have to click on it and then back out. But that, but that, to me, that's still superior than using the app, where I have to, uh, uh, where I can't just see all the replies to a comment, like, all at once or whatever. On the app, I have to click on the replies, and then it's its own separate page, so I can't see the rest of the comments. Now I have to back out of replies, and then, uh, and then go back and look at comments and see what else I can, on the website, I can look at all that shit at once on my phone. Fucking boom. There's really no need to have the app. That's the reason I downloaded the app is because I couldn't upload pictures anymore on the website. But now I can again. Like, I couldn't forever. And it's all like having problems on the website. Download the app. You won't have this problem. I'm like, What? So that, yeah, the main reason I downloaded the app was just to upload pictures. And now I don't, you can do it on the website again. You don't have the problems anymore. And if they do have them, I'll end up having the, I'll have the app still. So, but I'm still going to be way more privy to using the uh, website over the app. There are some features that the app has better there's i think there's more features that the um website has over the app and uh less fake news now this is a tricky one because uh how do you determine what's fake news or and it's not necessarily fake news, but it's passing off a source of news to be the absolute end-all, to be-all fucking truth of that specific subject. And, uh, without doing any other further research on top of that. And that's just, and that's what I consider to be fake news. Like, maybe you use that source all the time and everything's been reliable. Like, everything that you've cared about to research on on that particular site has been pretty reliable and factual or whatever, or whatever specific source that you use or whatever. My main source of information is word of mouth, so you really can't take any of my information for anything. I don't do I hardly do any research at all about anything. So, yeah. But, so, so when people just pass off this information as it's the end all be all truth or whatever without looking into stuff, you got more and more people doing that. And then it just sends its chain reaction of misinformation. And I'm guilty of this myself, but I'm not trying to, when I post something that's about news or politics or just some sort of thing in general, I'm not usually posting it as to be, as like the end all be all truth. I'm usually posting something to either get a dialogue out of it to get people talking about that specific topic to see uh, how certain people feel about that stuff or uh sometimes just for comedy purposes like a lot of this trump stuff is it's comedy that writes itself and uh and <laughs> when you post something from the onion and there's still people out there that think the onion is this <coughs> Is a real news source. <laughs> so, <laughs> so when you post up on the onion and like 
people are like, oh my god, is this real? I'm like, did you look at the fucking source? Like, I, obviously you read the article because you're talking about stuff that's in the article, but did you look at the source that you're reading it? Uh, oh, man. Mm, so, uh, I guess challenges was viral trends. I was going to say less viral trends. Um, it sort of goes along with challenges or just around that same thing. Like, um, or like what viral trends I want to see is like how many young kids can get an A on those tests that you're taking in school. Um, what's the fastest you kids can freaking type out a resume and have it be good? Uh, what's the, <laughs> I want to see the, uh, uh, Oh, the challenge, uh, I want to see, like, real challenge. I want to see, like, running marathons. I want to see, I want to see more violence in sports. You know, it has really nothing to do with social media. This is something I want to, I want, I want my athletes to be on steroids and whatever sort of performance enhancing drugs. They're already killing themselves, especially football players. Football players kill themselves every day they smack their head against something even with the helmet on they're fucking bushing their brains around all over the place football players are already killing themselves you give them performance enhancing drugs you turn them turn them into fucking gladiator beasts that could fight dragons and shit you know uh no one really cares like about their health or whatever anyway we just want to see them fucking win <laughs> win our home team a trophy or our hometown a trophy or whatever that we don't even get to see no uh, man well that concludes this evening's portion of timon I was going to say Timon, so this, is not, this concludes social media news. Uh, like I need to wake up before I record these. And uh, we'll see you next week. I'm going to talk about my uh, uh, favorite YouTube channels to help pass the time. And so we'll see you next week. And take care.